one. Hello, fellow gluten lovers. I'm here with what, with what will be uh, one of many vlogs this season. So after Road took us to the gutter last week with his, uh, with his many, many penis jokes, I'm here with some classy analysis and I'm gonna provide you a top 10 list. Um, this is gonna be the top 10 best moves of the season, best value. All right, at number 10, Brees Hall picked for $21 by the Cousins. They got him at a steep discount, thinking that he was not fully recovered from his devastating injury last season, but the guy is looking like a potential league winner. Dalvin Cook is asking for a trade. So Brees Hall looks like the bell cow back for the Jets, who due to shitty Zach Wilson cannot throw the ball. So Brees Hall is gonna get a ton of volume. Great pick by, uh, by Luke. All right, next, Jerome Ford. Drafted, picked up for free by me off of waivers. Last week had a 69 yard touchdown. Sid, stop giggling. And is actually RB15 on the week. So not bad to get that kind of value for free. At number eight, DeAndre Swift, drafted by Gabe for $2. RB10 of the season. Nice move by the Gabester. Number seven, David Montgomery, drafted for $7 by Russ. The one guy in this league who does not need an additional RB. Russ is hoarding all the good RB is one of the reasons he's able to do that. The incredible value that he got with David Montgomery. RB 12 on the season, despite missing the last game. At number six, Mike Evans. A fantastic pick by Team Shao and Nish for $4. Uh, wide receiver seven on the season. Touchdowns in all but the last two games. Incredible how this team has ascended since Nish has taken a back seat with management and has allowed Shao to take a more active role in the front office. Really, really, uh, re really great move there. Number five, Devon Achan, $3 drafted by Gabe again. The guy has 20, had 20 points in each of the last three games before he got injured. Um, and, and between uh, Swift and Achan, Gabe not missing a beat despite losing Nick Chubb, continuing to dominate. Gabe, excited to see you in the finals. Number four, Adam Thielen. Again, Russ, another example of getting great value. Drafted for $4. Uh, the guy, we, we thought he was washed up after he left Minnesota, went to the shitty Carolina Panthers, but hey, they need somebody to catch the ball. He's getting insane volume. RB, uh, he's, a, he's a wide receiver one. So again, Russ, getting, getting amazing value. All right, we're into the top three. At number three, Kyron Williams picked off of waivers by, for $27 by, by uh, Luke and team. Great job there. RB4, currently injured, um, but expecting to come back and continue being the bell cow in the Los Angeles offense. So yeah, great, great pick there. Then number two, Puka Nakua picked off of waivers for $25 by Jay. This guy is wide receiver six on the season. Cooper Cup has come back. Nakua hasn't missed a stride. Uh, Nakua actually looked, looked like the better wide receiver last week. So I would say a league winner, but that would mean that Jay had the potential to make the playoffs, which is not going to happen. Sorry, Jay. And then number one, the best move of the season thus far goes to Roe, who is happy Roe this season, um, because Raheem Mostert picked for $2. The guy is RB2 in the season. Just insane volume, touchdowns. Yeah, just incredible pick. Getting RB2 for $2 in the draft. All right, Th thank you gentlemen. Um, looking forward to seeing you all again for my next vlog in the next week or two. And during that one, I'll go through the 10 worst moves of the season. All right, thank you all.